Welcome back to the camp, everybody. I know I told you I'd be recharging my batteries, but I got a question from one of our viewers. Felt compelled to jump back in here before I head downtown for a little R&R. &R. Uh, this question was from Debbie in Fairfax, Virginia. Her question was, okay, I get the leaf and potato thing as a side, but what can I really do with it? My answer to you is, off the top of my head, I came up with a quick recipe. We're going to make some chipotle shrimp. We have the shrimp split, clean, ready to go. I'm just going to drop six of them into the pan. And I made my uh, sweet potato cakes a little bit smaller. This would be more of an appetizer. So, all we have is two tablespoons of butter and a half teaspoon of chipotle. Let's fire it up. Let's go with a full teaspoon. Sweet potato cakes are cooking right behind this. If you don't want this pan to get too hot, I'm just going to cover it to prevent it splattering it out. Sweet potato cakes are coming along over here. Again, I made this a little bit of a smaller side. I'm going to turn up my heat to really get this thing rolling. And we'll be done with that here in no time. Meanwhile, everyone can see the leaf and sweet potato pancake recipe on the video. I'm just going to roll these shrimp over so we don't get a nice hard crust. So all we have in here with these shrimp is two tablespoons of butter, and one take or one teaspoon of pureed homemade pepper. It comes in a little tiny can. I went to the store, I saw three manufacturers of that. And this is about done. I just processed those chipotle peppers in my mini processor. You need to get it. Time saver. I know I've said it before. So I'm going to say the shrimp are largely done. I'm going to cut the heat on that. And then we're going to plate this rascal. So once again, we have our sweet, leaf and sweet potato pancakes from yesterday. They're cooking along nicely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got good color on it. So we see golden brown and yellow. I'm going to cut heat on that. I'm going to cut heat on our shrimp here. And then we're going to plate this wascally wascally. So here we go. What I'm going to do here is just what I call, or what's known as the biz, is shingling. Okay, that's just kind of laying, laying one, one edge of the cake on top of the other, okay? And then for visual appearance, we like to run with odd numbers on a plate. What does that mean? Means this right here. We're just going to put three of those shrimp on there. And this is enough for two. I'm going to share it with my buddy here in a minute. We're going to pour about half that butter right over the top. Give it a little cilantro accent. If I had a lime, I'd want to squirt a lime in there too. But to make this expeditious, this is what it is. So now we have chipotle shrimp with leek and potato pancakes. I'm going to give you a quick uh, down look at that. And I'm out of here. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. See that, folks? Uh-oh. He's zooming. He's zooming. Oh, look at the beauty. I'm out of here, folks. I'll see you Wednesday.